Hi there and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the ODR feature. Here we have some raw files that have a challenging dynamic range. And I'd like to show you how the ODR or optimal dynamic range feature works. This is one of the most challenging raws to get the dynamic range correct. I want to show you that now. What I've done here is I've marked out an area of the clouds and this image was exposed for the clouds but I've put a magenta rectangle around it to make sure that none of the clouds are blown out and what it does is it makes the foreground area here in the trees and grass very dark. Now in prior versions typically you would raise the fill light to try to get some detail in the trees and we might go about right there but we notice that it has made the clouds have a lot less contrast and has blown out some of the areas of the clouds and typically we would bring that back using the HDR slider here and slide that until the detail starts coming back in the clouds and before it will stop before it hits the trees um, right there looks pretty good but you'll notice as you start going higher with HDR it will start to darken the trees. It'll darken the foreground a little bit. And it's sometimes difficult to get that split just right. And that is what the new ODR feature is for. So let me set the fill light back to zero here. And if we hover over this new checkbox it says optimal dynamic range. With a fill light of zero here we can just check ODR and what it will do is get the optimal dynamic range out of this image and you'll see that it brightens the trees up and makes them look realistic without blowing out the clouds and keeping the drama in the clouds here and I'll do that again and show you if you turn ODR off and we'll look at the clouds this time the clouds look good here and when we turn the ODR on it keeps the drama in the clouds here while at the same time brightening the the dark areas in the shadows here and it does that by basically optimizing the dynamic range that exists in the histogram for the image it'll find areas of the image where there's less dynamic range and it will fill those areas in fill in the gaps and you end up with an image where your clouds and your sky still have a lot of detail but your shadows are brightened to the point where you can see them. And it's just a quick way to um, get your fill light correct while not losing drama in other brighter areas of the image. It's a lot easier than using fill plus HDR and sometimes, many times, it'll do a better job. Now on top of that you can still, after using ODR, you can still brighten the image a little bit if you like, add more fill light or even less fill light for a little bit more drama. Uh, you can see how what happens when you go negative on the fill light here. You get a lot more drama and color. It does darken the shadows here for you, but uh, you have that option. You can go either way with it. But typically, ODR with a fill light of zero will optimize the image for you, bring up those really dark shadows so you can see everything in the image, and it does a great job without having to try to get fill light and HDR adjusted just right. So I hope you enjoyed the new feature, and try it out on some images. You might be surprised how much detail it adds even in normal images, not necessarily ones that uh, have such a large dynamic range. So try it out and hope you enjoy the feature. Thanks for watching.